Wow, what a memory lane moment I just had here. I was looking at a Toyota Matrix, and I remember when I drove a Toyota Matrix. And let me share with you what was in my mind, and it wasn't good. Remember, before I bought that Toyota Matrix, I was driving a souped up Mitsubishi Eclipse. It was turbo, it was sexy, it was cool, it was fast. Uh, when I drove up to places, people looked at it, took pictures of it, it was in car shows, and it was just like, and, and I was doing it for all the wrong reasons, like all into the approval of man, the approval of, oh, look at me, and status, and, you know, Fast and the Furious wasn't even out when we were in the in the illegal street racing scene, and not proud of that, not glorifying it, but that, you know, they made, Fast and the Furious made, a, that was made about people like us, the OGs that were in the scene, but it, you know, that was the era of of, of, of um, where we were at, and it's hilarious because uh, I think Fast and Furious is the highest grossing franchise um, in um, in history. So it's definitely a popular franchise, and obviously, you you guys, I'm sure, seen one of the fifty Fast and the Furious. But that's not the point. The point is, I remember that. For me, I, th I thought status and success was based off of the cars you drive and the places you live. And of course, that's so further from the truth. That success, and it depends who you are, what you think success is. But for me, I think success is, are you a great husband? Are you a great father? Are you a great friend? Are you adding value to your community? Or are you just taking, 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 taking? And so for me, when I when I think about that moment of when I first purchased that Toyota Matrix, it was not a place where I'm like, yeah, I can't wait to get a Toyota Matrix. For me, it was giving up uh, something that I had value in, where my treasures were, right? My heart was it, where my treasure was in cars. And that thing was a cash cow. It broke down all the time because I would race it. Um, I want, Every time I got a paycheck, I wanted to soup it up even more because I'm trying to compete with the fastest guy, the the guy that has a faster car and and it was just not you know i'm making 10 bucks an hour like why would i do that that, that was so dumb but i didn't know I, I didn't know and so when i got rid of that car i i was battling because you know i was getting into a toyota matrix which is not sexy it, it, you know it's not a fast car it's not gonna get you looks and again i was a shallow mind yeah i had a shallow um selfish mind and i'm like man i gotta buy this car but then i said you know what but it's better for my family it can i was growing my family it can fit our three kids um the car that i had could not fit three kids comfortably it was two door and it was going to save me money because i didn't have to break it was not breaking down all the time and so there's a lot of things benefits way more pros than getting this what i thought ugly car than it was keeping my my mitsubishi clips that was souped up and all that and it was in magazines and all that and so I made that decision to say, you know what? I'm going to get rid of it. Why? For the benefit of my family, for the benefit of where I feel like I'm going, I have to make this hard decision that for me was hard. For other people, it was easy, but that's where my treasure is. Like, you know, and so I got rid of it and I bought that Toyota Matrix and I hated driving it, hated pulling up to places again because I had a shallow mind. But I did have the right perspective in that I feel like this is better for the family and better for my future. Well then, fast forward, right? 20 years, or not 20 years, fast forward 10, 12 years, it was, it was a stepping stone or a pillar or a step towards where I feel like I was going and where I am today. People look at my life and say, dang, how you do it? How come, how do you live this lifestyle you know, how do you drive the cars you drive, the places you live, having the financial success? And it's because I said no to a lot of things. And I said yes to very few things. And in the area of finances, I had to say no to keeping this car and wanted to upgrade it to a faster car, a better car. And saying no to that and saying yes to a car that I didn't want to drive so that it wasn't financial burden. So what I'm trying to say is, you got to be able to get rid of things that you don't want to get rid of to benefit the future or to get closer to the goal that you have. So sometimes you got to step back and go backwards to go forwards. You've heard that. It's the old, 
you know, that's an old quote. Many people say that. And, and so for me, it was not just doing it for one year, it's doing it for years. And then now I'm to the point where, yeah, I can go buy any car I want. I can drive whatever car I want. And even now, now that I can afford to buy any car I want to drive, I don't. I don't go buy a Lamborghini. I don't go buy a Ferrari. Why? Because it's not, because my heart's changed. My desires has changed. And, and now that I do have the right perspective, that I do know it could be shallow, it could be empty for the reasons why, the status, the, you know, you drive around a Lamborghini, people are going to take pictures and, oh, what do you do for a living? I can't, that's my dream car. And, and you'll get all this attention. And I'm not saying that's all bad, right? You know, where's your heart? I don't know. I don't know what your heart is. But for me, like, I, I, I'm not looking for that. I don't care for that. But I do drive, you know, nice cars. And with they're well within, well within my ability to afford it. But it's not because of status. It's not because, oh, I want people to look at me. And and again, for me, I'm just I'm just just sharing you my heart or where I'm at. Is I feel like a lot of us we're trying to live a certain way, have a certain status, drive a certain car, Lexus, Mercedes, whatever you want to call it, and it's actually keeping us from achieving the goal. It's keeping us from that financial freedom. It's keeping us from having financial success because we want that now. We want to live in that success now. So therefore we'll, we'll you know, so our cars are nice, but we're stressed paycheck to paycheck and we can't seem to get out of this rut because we want the success now, though our bank account doesn't really afford the ability to look like we have that success, right? Or, 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 or purchase that vehicle. And so it was just a friendly reminder for me of like, man, where I came from, the choices I had to make, the unpopular choices that I had to make to get where I'm at. And now looking forward, or high side 2020 is like, I am so glad I made those decisions. I am so glad I made those hard decisions not to drive certain cars, not to live a certain way so that I could build my future, so that I can live the way I live now. And so I put in the hard work, right? Lucy and I put in the hard work. We said no to a lot of things and we got, we give, we got rid of a lot of things. And so I don't know where you are right now in your life, but just remember that you can look at successful people and say, man, they had it easy, or man, I wonder what they did to get there. How do they do it? How does Daniel do it with seven kids and live in Hawaii? It's so dang expensive, and it is expensive. How do they do it? Well, number one, I trust in God, and I'm led by God, and I. And number two, I, 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 use, I have people in my life to tell me what you're doing is wrong, what you're doing is bad, what you're doing is, like, what are you doing? And then I listened to those people. So I allowed people to mentor me and elder me who are better financial stewards than me. And so because I listened and did that and I and I did what's unpopular, now I'm able to operate and walk in what I feel like God's calling me to. And then two more is is, is just the, the, the family health and the marriage health that I have. Um, the financial success is, is, is second, third. It's like whatever. I mean, it's great, but man, what's what's richer is the peace that I have with my my family, the the time that I have to that I have to spend with my family, and it's not even about money. There's people who make less, way less than me that understand the principle. Look at the principle. Remove the car and look at the principle. The principle is whatever it is, if it's a job, if it's you know NFL watching football, if it's what a video games, whatever it is. What are you giving up so that in the future you could be successful and or reach your goals, right? That's the principle. The, for me, it's just an opportunity to share it was a car for me. Uh, but there's other things that I had to give up. And so I hope that inspires you that, that there's an invitation for you to look and evaluate your life. Say, Lord, where, where in my life am I not giving up and it's holding me back from what you have for me? Am I not steward, am I not stewarding something well? Am I not am I do I have something in my possession that I need to give up so that I can move towards my goals? Ask yourself that. Because you're not going to get far if you're not willing to give up things. And I to this day, where I'm at as a 44-year-old man, 
I'm still like this, Lord. I'm not like this. Don't take it. I'm like, God, take it. If there's something in my life that you need to get rid of so I can move closer to you, so I can further the kingdom, so that I can be more successful in whatever endeavors you have me in, then take it. Then take it. That's the posture of my heart. And really, that's the posture of, um, or that's the posture everyone should have. But it's hard. It's not easy. And I'm not saying everyone successful did this. Some people do it, you know, with shortcuts and, you know, and they don't have peace. I'm just saying, if you want to live a life of peace and you want to live, have a successful marriage, successful, successful business, ministry, then there's no fast track about it. There's some hard work that needs to be done. And, and you won't lose your family. You won't lose your marriage. You won't lose um, your friends. You won't, well, you won't lose the real friends. You won't lose a lot of things if you do it the right way. And so as that matrix, as I hated driving that car, it was not the car I want to drive. But man, looking back, it was worth it. It was worth it to now if I wanted to buy any car I want to buy. But... I don't buy the car that I would buy if I was in. Because why? I learned. I got some gray hairs. I got some wisdom now. And again, I'm not saying if you drive that car that you're shallow and all that. I'm not saying that. Maybe when my kids are gone, I might purchase a car like that. But right now, it's just not, it's not my desire. And man, it's it, it's cool to have a, 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 a sense uh, of financial success to where we're in the position that we are. And I haven't made it yet. There's still, I had a meeting today with a mentor, you know, taking things apart and telling them you need to fix this and fix that. And so I haven't arrived. I'm still on this journey with you. I, I, I see it as jujitsu. I take jujitsu or I practice the, the art of jujitsu and I don't look at black belts and blue belts uh, or I'm blue belt, but I don't look at purple belts and brown belts as like, oh, you think you're better than me? Oh, you know, like competition. I see it as like, man, one day I'll be there. I need to learn from them. All right. It's, it's, it's a process. It's a journey. It's a it's a, 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 the ability to, to go through the hard and learn and, 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 and lose and fail and, and, and learn and all of that to get to where one day I'll be a brown belt. One day I'll be a black belt. And one day I'll be just like that guy. So I see it as a motivation as like, can I learn from you? Can I glean from you? Every time I go into the gym, can I, am I able to, to glean from these guys who are further ahead of me? Because they were a white belt too, just like me. I mean, well, how I started. And now they're, they progressed. And certain people progress faster than the others because of time and life hits and all that. And that's okay. It's a journey. And so I share this at, not at arrogance and pride as in, in humility. I got a lot more to, to grow. Or I have a lot more, yeah, a lot more that I can grow. And I'm fine with it. But man, can I share with you how I got to this point? And now I'm learning how to get to the next level, the next point, right? So I hope that encourages you. Hang in there. And this message is probably not for everybody, and that's okay. But for the people who are encouraged, for the people that are willing to do the hard, this is for you. And don't give up. Keep doing that hard work. Surround yourself with smart people. Surround yourself with, find the people that are living the way you want to live and learn from them. And hopefully those people are, are people of integrity, people who love the Lord, people that won't sacrifice their family for the things of this life. Um, follow those people. Because there's a lot of guys out there who are successful in business um, and also successful in their family. Find those guys. Aloha.